Good evening, good morning, good everything. Welcome to my channel. I am Pink Poodle 2. This is Pip. This is Maisie the Pink Poodle. Oh, you want to have a look at Maisie? Oh, you taking a liking to Maisie, are you, Pip Pip? So, yeah. So, we are Pink Poodle 2. This is Pip, my newest poodle. We've had him now for over a month. And he's settling in really well, though. He doesn't bark. Not like his brother. He used to bark constantly. But Pip's an old man, so he's not going to want to do a lot of things, are you, Pippi? And it, this heat is quite bad. Quite hard for you, isn't it? Hey, we're going to take see Mummy Sandra soon to get your hair cut, aren't we? You're going to see your friend Pudding then, can't you? He's ever such a good little companion dog. He's really good for me. Because the cat's right and about. Say bye-bye, Pip. So thank you for watching Mummy's channel if you want to say hello to me i'd like that okay so bye pip and put it back on the bed yeah baby um yeah so she's out and about and she doesn't want to come in and it's sunny so he's companionship for me because i don't like not having no one to talk to <laughs> so i've been used to having the dog for all these years so it, it made sense for us to um you know, adopt. Well, I don't mind adopting an older dog, you know. Anyway, we are talking about which casket, not which casket, so what am I talking about? My, um, Fry's Cauldron is the unboxing today. It came yesterday and it was a bit late to do it to go to the hospital. The chest. <coughs> but my chest and I have an infection. Oh, that's why I've been feeling so shitty, and um, yeah, so it's, um, it's starting, hopefully going to come off my chest soon. You alright, Pip? It's a little bit hot, so he's coughing a bit. So it comes in that bright uh, bag, and it comes in a bag like this, a box like this, should I say. Bag, what am I like? I don't know what I'm saying after the time, do I? So this is what it looks like. I'm sorry, I always have to have a look. It, it's just, you know, it comes with a purple tissue paper with the sticker on. And of course, I cannot wait to not look in it. This is straight away, you know, I can look in it straight away. But most of the time, it's because I can't wait. So, Fire's Cauldron is £27 a month. It's run by a witch and her husband. I can't remember what her husband's called. They're really nice people. And yeah, I've been getting this now since January. I'm really pleased with it. I'm really um, happy that I get it. And um, yeah, I'm glad of it. So it comes with um, some. It's called the Moon Witch Box, September 23. So I'll put that there because that's all what else on there. And it always comes with, well not always with this, but it always comes with the um, things for the Book of Shadows. Uh, you put in there, it tells you about all about the moons and it's an ivory moon this month. And um, Inner Strength Spell, these are these the real Book of Shadows. Um, Jasper, Tumblestone, Chamomile. So these are all for your book of shadows. And they are like put in this. So you know, that's your book of shadows. We also get a calendar for the October, you know, because we're into September's now, so this is for next month. So it's always a month ahead and tells you with all the moon phases and if there's any um, sub apps and of course 31st of um, October is Samhain, Halloween, Samhain, whatever you want to call it. And then we have a nice print of um, Mabon which is coming up um, this month and um, it is like the harvest, the second harvest of the year. So this is when you celebrate so all like everything coming together and everything's starting to change. So you get all like the um, pumpkins and everything, acorns, mushrooms, 
they were everything starting to wanting to go into auto mode before the last harvest. So there's that. And then we've got a nice book about Mabon. And I'll just read you quickly what Mabon is in case you're not aware of it. So Mabon, also known as Autumn Equinox, Wine Festival, wine, sorry, Wine Harvest, Festival of Avalon, Witches Harvest, which is Thanksgiving. Um, <clears throat> symbols are apples to represent the harvest and abundance. Grapes and vines represents the journey and advancement. Dry leaves represents growth, death and rebirth. Hazelnuts represent wisdom and protection. Acorns represent strength and power. Harvesting tools represent abundance, reaping what you sow and hard work. Pumpkin squashes and something, I don't know what that is, represents the harvest and abundance. Sun wheels represent the sun. Corn dollies represent the sun's energy. Cornucopia re represents wealth, fertility and good luck. Colours are brown, represents the earth, stability, oranges, origins, origins, patience and ten tenacity. Orange represents imagination, creativity, wisdom and changing of seasons. Gold represents God, richness, luxury, divination, purity, perfection. Russet present, represents isolation, separation, strength and power. Maroon represents passion, love, anger, spirituality, calm and wisdom. Red represents the sun, strength and power. Decorate your home and your altar with apples, blackberries, grapes, hazelnuts, oak twigs, corn on the cob, sun wheel, wheat stems, leaves, various colours, acorns, pumpkins, squashes, sunflowers, roses, chamomile, sentiments, ivy, burning scents, clove, Benzoin, myrrh, sage rose, cedar, frankincense, pine. Mabon is the second of the three harvests of the first being Lammas and the third being Salwin. It falls in autumn equinox, a time when the days and night are equal lengths and also the transition from summer to autumn. That's what I said when it... This equinox also marks the halfway point between the solar solstices. At Mabon we give thanks for a beautiful harvest and the earth has provided and honour the sun and warmth and light it has given for once again after the balance it begins to a wanting place. It is a time to stop, relax, reflect as we represent what nature provides us throughout the warm months and prepares us for the cold ahead. There are variations to Mount Mabon, including Maybone, Mahbon, Mayburn, and Mayhem. So there you go. Our ancestors this time celebrate for the hard work is almost over. The grain has been collected and stored in the fruit and vegetables are ready for picking, stored for the winter. Depending on what mother of nature has provided, they can be comfortable through the winter months or face famine. Great feasts with families, friends and community will have been held offering wine, cider, fer fertilizers, fertilizers would have been given to the earth. The festival is now named after the god, Welsh god mythology Mabon. He is the child of light, the son of Mother Earth, Mordron. Right, so this also is in the um, Christian calendar as um, Harvest Festival, which is the same sort of thing, giving thanks for the harvest. So, yeah, so it says you can have mild apple juice, it says um, apple crumb loaf, crumble loaf. Um, and then some rituals, so that's really good. So that's good to know. Then we have a autumn leaf jasper in one of these little bags. Oh, 
This Jasper looks like this. I don't have any Jasper that looks like this. It looks inter interesting because it's got um, all the different colours of um, autumn. Sorry, I think I'm going to just do it. So, so that's I'm in my, my bedroom. Right. Then we've got the Ivy Moon Herb Blend. Looks like that. And again, let's have a sniff of it. It just smells like mm, herbs to me. What's in there? I think there's mint in there this time. I'm not sure what's in there. Oh, there's rose petals. It smells nice, whatever it is. I think there's lavender as well. So, there's that. And we have a moss agate. And this one's for you, yeah. You like a bit of moss agate, don't you, um, Journey? So, I've got some a moss agate Brexit now. And that's supposed to be quite good for you, apparently. So, yeah. So, I've got a moss agate bracelet. I've not got one of these anyway. So, different colours of it as well. You would have thought, like, because it's an agate, um, it says moss, it'd be just sort of green, but it goes all these colours. So, um, really nice look at Yeah, Johnny likes, Johnny and Sharon really likes my site. Okay, these are the candles we got this month. We've got sort of a lilac and a purple, a white, a blue and a black. Oops, it drops the black. Typical. I'm going to drop something, don't I? So there's that. Then we got some chill peels, and these are vanilla cupcake chill peels. Little birth bombs you can either put in your bath or you can put in a foot soap. That's quite nice, I might do that with that foot soap actually. They do smell very nice, they smell like little like bonbons. Look like that. They smell very nice, very vanilla -y. Anything I like to pull, so that's nice. Then we've got a Mavin Heart Puppet for World Clean. So yeah. It tells you what you need. Um, we've got some cold, we've got the little heart to make the puppet. I did the one for Easter and then the ribbon to hang it up with. And then you just find what you need to um, stuff it with. It says you need stuffing of your choice, a needle, and any extra donut decorations you want to do. So that would be nice. I, that. I enjoyed making the last one. So we to do that. that is a Mavin Heart Pocket. Then we've got a Equinox. Will be in spell. Let's get to this. We have in this some magic well being candle dressing oil. We've got a red and a pink candle. We've got the actual what you um get. What you need, get the spell itself, which I'm going to read out, and also in here we've got the the dressing. You see, there's like roses in there, rose hips, there's lavender, maybe. Smells lovely. I've got loads of that in the garden. I hope to actually get those um, dried. So there's that. The Autumn Experts will be in spell. And then we've got this, which is the Sun Candle, Sun and Moon Candle for Balance. This is really nice. It's a lovely candle which I probably won't burn because it's too nice to put it back because we've got the sun and the moon because it's going to be equal time for the um, 
And this is Candle Boogie. It tells you all about the fire hazards of it on the back here. Uh, you don't smell of anything, but it's a really nice candle. Sorry guys, my chest is hurting quite a bit. And then we've got, a, this is they're sending these at the moment, little apocryphies. And this is chamomile. Smell of a, I love the smell of chamomile. I've grown a little bit of chamomile this year, but not much. Which just saddens me, because last year I grew quite a bit. And for some reason I didn't want to do it this year, so. And last but not least, and we'll be coming to the end of these soon. This is the um, wood carvings that we get every month to do with the different moons. And this one is the ivy moon, September the 30th to the 27th. So, I always love to smell these. So the ivy moon, and it's got the um, Thing. So I wonder what they're going to do after they've done this. I really, I really like them to like put them on. It's really interesting to know about the different moons and what they are. What the tree moons are, not the actual like sturgeon moon and all that and wolf moon, but for what the trees are. So, so in this box this month we have, let's just go for it, we've got the Right. right, if I do it, what it says in the room, it needs to be easier. We've got the Fire Court and Spell Candles, the Ivy, Ivy Moon Hearth Blend, we have the Jasper Tumble Stone. We have the chip bracelet, which is not say. We have the Equinox Wellbeing Spell Kit. We have the Ivy Moon Collectible, which is this. We have the Help Jar, which is this. We have the Puppet for Wellbeing. I really do need that when my chest is blown at the moment, so that's come up a good time. We have the Wellbeing Chill Pills. Just dropping them all over the shop. We have the Moon and Sun for Balance. Um, I didn't manage to do it. We have the Mabon Card Collectible. We have the Mabon booklet. We have the calendar. And we have the Book of Shadows work. And this is all of Freya's Cauldron for the month of September. Remember then, so this is the Witch Box for September. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I do really, really enjoy my cauldron because it is on my alternative boxes and it's totally different to each basket. You get different things, you get different, so it's by different witches, so you get a different perspective. I do enjoy that. And um, yeah, so thank you for watching this unboxing. I hope you did enjoy it. Put it over here now, so it's um, we take pictures. Hope you did enjoy it. If you see, please give me a pause up. Excuse me for a sec. And um, I was going to say I've forgotten again. Brain's gone. Yes, if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining me. And if you've come back and you're not subscribed, thank you for joining me. And if you've come back and you are subscribed, thank you for coming back again. Um, if you're not subscribed, would you consider subscribing? That would really help me out quite a lot. But if you don't, that's fine. If you'd like to leave a comment, that would be lovely. And 
thank you once again for watching my videos. I really do appreciate people spending time out of their day to watch them. Um, and yeah, it just makes me feel happy that somebody's watching what I put out. So anyway, take care of everybody. I wish everybody well. Stay hydrated in this heat. Look after yourself. And always remember, it is what it is. And it ain't what it ain't. Until next time on Pink Poodle 2, take care guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.